there's a Studio EQ, which is essentially a four band, and you can pick between the different types of EQs. We have something called a shelf EQ. So let me go ahead and I'll boost that. So there's a high frequency, that's band number four. But as you can see, as I boost that, it's um, from a certain point, like if I, I'm dialing it, it's a 1391, that's where this thing is starting to ramp up. But in essence, you can change the Q factor on it as well, which is basically, uh, I mean, visually, you can see what's happening. It's creating a dip. So that's a broad thing. That's something like, like uh, in terms of your top end or your low end, you can either boost or you can attenuate, which is... And you can hear that's sort of a special effect. We do that in a lot of song production in terms of dealing with our EQs. We're using the Q, the Q is basically a feedback circuit within that filter. This is essentially a filter, a, a low pass filter. It's only letting the low frequencies pass through. As I start to roll off, we don't hear any of the high information. It's just allowing the low frequencies to pass through. There's an invert button, which will reverse that, as you just heard. Let's go back and we'll reset this. And um, let's go ahead and look at the shelf two, which is, uh, if you look at it, it has a slightly different slope. And then shelf three, it's basically how the, how these different slopes sort of work together, different, different uh, shapes. And then there's a, uh, a cut filter which in essence just removes frequencies. It doesn't, it's not boosting, it's only, it's just designed to cut out. And then we have something called a peak filter, which is like a parametric equalizer. So I can, you know, zero in on a specific frequency and then uh, boost it. This is what I call the surgical EQ. Remember I was talking about removing the frequencies for that kick drum, right? So if this was my kick drum, I would wanna grab this hovered around, say, 62 hertz, maybe drop out. Actually, what I was talking about was on my bass. Remember, my kick drum needed to punch through, so this is what I would use. I would notch something out like that, and then my kick drum would, would sort of cut through. So overall, those are the different types of uh, EQs that we have. This is a four-band EQ, and we can use this to shape this in different ways. Uh, uh, maybe I want to have just a slight bump, like maybe uh, 1 dB at uh, starting at, say, 80 hertz. And you can't really see it because of the range in here, but always remember less is more. We can...